I want to say a big congratulations to Ghana Investment Promotion Center for doing this in the grand style. Looking at the ratio of banks that find themselves in the first hundred, I think the formula favors banks. That is what I think. So perhaps we may have to look at the formula again. Because the number of rural banks who are in the top 100 proportionately is too high. We have to be frank with the system. We are looking for the best 100. Maybe, they're okay. Maybe we need to organize, you see, monkeys play by sizes. Am I right? And therefore, sometimes to get the real picture, we may need a special competition among banks or rural banks as a separate competition. And then we see who is who in this particular sector. Then we look at the other sectors of the economy. Because it's economic situations favor certain sectors at certain times. So when you look into the economy, and you are using what? Profitability, growth, and size. You take out profitability and see what happens. Take out growth and see what happens. Assuming you add employment. So we are looking to generate employment. Am I right? Suppose we introduce employment as a criteria. You think the picture will be the same? How many rural banks will be there if we introduce employment? <laughs> you may be there, yes. But you may find out that certain companies will penetrate into the top echelon. So let us look at the economy and also look at the criteria that we use that will be fair to everybody. But we must congratulate the rural banks that under the current system, they've proved beyond doubt that they are doing a good job. 